this uh, this video is for you day traders and um, and at the end I'm going to have a little something for my uh, my audience um, first off there's a big difference between this you know I think silver is going to go down I think you guys should stop buying silver and start selling silver right now because you know what Everybody's all happy and jubilee. They think they could take down J.P. Morgan. But you know what? You can't. You can't take down J.P. Morgan. I think you should sell your silver because I bet you J.P. Morgan's laughing at you right now. Saying you could, thinking you could buy some silver and, and trash them. <laughs> or this. Hey, listen, guys. You know what? I know you, you really believe that uh, you can crash J.P. Morgan. And uh, I understand that, you know, J.P. Morgan has done some really terrible things. However, you know, uh, at this time, they're still a very powerful company. And um, I do believe that, you know, based on, you know, what I've seen in history is that people, you know, get a little excited about a particular item um, like silver or any other item in, in, in when they're trading. And they, they sort of get carried away. So... I do believe I see that, and it's my personal opinion, that hey, you're going the the prices are gonna fall. You see, see how that that, that was that was, did you notice the difference there, right? I got my hat in my hand. Anyways, I am one hundred percent confident that J P Morgan has the power to take down silver, the price of silver, down to whatever they want it to be. Um, but I believe that you should buy and hold and forget about what the price is. Um, that's not based in reality. That's based on some fantasy number that's at the comics that traders can use um, to make some more Federal Reserve notes. Um, unfortunately, they use this methodology to, to scare you out of your silver um, because they can, they can move the price to wherever they want to move it. So um, be prepared for that. Um, if you do get scared out of your silver, uh, please let me know. Um, maybe I'll be able to do something for you. Maybe send you some cash if you just tell me your story. If you don't want me to share with anybody, I won't. Um, but I do believe that you should be buying and holding silver. I think that this this price of $30, once at the end of somewhere between now and 2015, that you'll look back at the $30 and, on the chart and it's just not even there. So... Um, Thirty dollars is just going to be like a single trading day, a really good trading day. So, so um, buy silver every time you can, anytime you can. Don't listen to the to the day traders. Um, their job is to to make money moving in and out of stocks, and they don't care if the stock is, for example, uh, they would go long. Um, hell and destruction and evil and go short good and righteousness you know hopes to, to buy back good and righteousness when when it's at a better price <laughs> all right so um, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and cut here you go <laughs> you're joking right what's this your payment uh, <laughs> I don't think so. This is what I'm looking for. Gold and silver is money and nothing else. <laughs>